Hi everyone, welcome again, um, Pathfinder UK. I'm here in North Devon, the sun's shining and we're sat in this beautiful field here where they've cut everything back and, and stacked them up in, in how they used to do it in the old days. So it's quite uh, tremendous to see this. I haven't seen this um, for God knows how long really. Um, so we thought we'd stop by and just kind of take the scene in and enjoy, enjoy the energy of the place, which is quite nice, it's very tranquil. Um, and what I'd like to do is share another kind of story with you about birds. Um, many years ago when I was stationed in Germany I set up a, a nature reserve there called uh, the Zacharia Sea. And um, we built a, a raft for out on, the, it was a disused gravel pit and we built a, a raft to put it out in the middle of the, the lake area because it was all full of water. Just to see if we could attract anything and uh, lo and behold we did. and, and what really surprised us was we drew in an oyster catcher, a pair of oyster catchers, which were previously ringed on the nest uh, further north in a place near to Hanover. Um, so that was quite surprising for me because I hadn't expected to see an oyster catcher so far inland because we're in the middle of Germany now. And one day while I was out there just kind of observing the oyster catchers on their nest on the raft, um, just sat there nice and quietly doing a sit spot just kind of watching them and enjoying the, the surroundings and then suddenly a bird of prey came over and it was a harrier uh, in this case it was a, a hen harrier and uh, the oyster catcher was up and the male was chasing this bird of prey away and what I noticed was from where the raft was in the lake the, to the fence line to the, the field on the edge of the, the quarry uh, the gravel pit sorry was about about a hundred meters or so and as the oyster catcher chased the harrier away it got to where the fence was turned around and came back to the raft you know to its nest um, which didn't really kind of raise any questions in my head uh, until another bird of prey came over in this case it was a buzzard and the same thing happened when the buzzard got to the fence line the oyster catcher turned around and came back so over a period of weeks this would have been, I, I observed several other birds of prey uh, having the same encounter with the oyster catcher from you know, Montague's Harrier to Kite to um, uh, Black Kite to, um, I've already mentioned Buzzard, um, I think there was a Sparrowhawk as well he chased off, I'm not 100% sure on that one. Um, but all in all, all the birds of prey that he chased off, he always went to that fence line and the edge of the field, turned around and came back to the raft. Until one day uh, an osprey came over and the osprey was just just cruising over there, often fished at the lake uh, while it was on migration. And on this occasion, it's, it, the oyster catcher was up, he was chasing the osprey off, the osprey crossed the boundary where the fence was and the oyster catcher kept going. And I was like, oh right, okay. That's interesting, and I watched it. And seriously, the, the the oyster catcher must have chased the osprey for a good kilometre, maybe a bit more, before it decided to turn around and come back to the raft. So here's the question: Why would it only go to the fence line for all the other birds of prey, of which there were about six or seven types of birds, and and yet chase the oyster catcher much further away? So I'd like to pose that as a question, and if anybody feels that they clue or an answer as to why that is then you know you can always tag the video and, and uh, give me your feedback on it so I'd be interested to hear that um, I already have an idea in my head of what that what happened there but it'd be great to get your take on things so th there's just another little story about my experience with birds uh, over the years that I've been birding and I hope you've enjoyed this little short story there's plenty more to come and in the future um, I'm going to start focusing uh, some of my videos on tracking. So one of them will be around um, uh, children with Asperger's taking them for tracking and, and how how they are able to see things that, that I couldn't see. Um, so hopefully uh, you'll, you'll enjoy that. And I look forward to doing that for you in the near future. So in the meantime, stay safe and uh, take care.